Good day students, welcome to our lesson this week in general mathematics. In this session, we are going to discuss sinking fund and loan amortization. Annuities have many applications such as in nominal funds. An example of nominal funds are sinking funds which are funds formed to accumulate a certain amount at a certain period of time. A sinking fund is a fund established to meet future needs or obligations by making payments or deposits into the fund, which is called sinking fund payments. For example, a sinking fund is established to accumulate 100,000 pesos in 6 years. If the annual interest rate is 5% compounded yearly, Find the amount of sinking fund payments. How much is the total interest? So, let us list the given first. The future value is 100,000. Time is 6 years. R or rate is equal to 5% or 0 0.05. M equals 1. So, here, we are going to solve for the regular payments. In this case, it is called sinking fund payments. So we are going to make use of the formula R equals A over 1 plus I over M raised to MT minus 1 all over I divided by M. Just substitute the values of A, T, R, and M. Now you have R equals 100,000 all over 1 plus 0 0.05 over 1 raised to 1 times 6 minus 1 all over 0 0.05 divided by 1. Computing this, you're going to arrive at 14,701.75. Meaning to say, the sinking fund payments is 14,701.75 pesos. To solve for the interest, we are going to use the formula I equals A minus RTM. So substitute the values of A, R, T, and M. This will be I equals 100,000 minus 14,701.75 times 6 times 1. Then this will be I equals 100,000 minus 88,210.5. Solve for the difference. It will be 11,789.5. The amount of interest is 11,789.5 pesos. Example 2. To prepare for an expansion of their business, Mr. Alvarez formed a sinking fund where monthly deposits will be made to accumulate at least 50,000 pesos. If 3% interest component monthly is given to the fund, how much should the monthly payment be to achieve the desired amount in one year? So the given, the future value is 50,000 pesos. Time is one year. Rate is 3% or 0 0.03. The compounding period is monthly, so M equals 12. So here, we are going to solve for the regular payments, or in this case, it is called the monthly sinking fund payments. Again, we are going to use this formula. Substitute the values of A, T, R, and M. You'll have 50,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.03 divided by 12 raised to 12 times 1 minus 1 all over 0 0.03 divided by 12. Computing this, 
you'll arrive at 4,109.68. This means that the monthly sinking fund payments is 4,109 pesos and 68 centavos. Another application of annuities is amortization. Suppose a certain amount is borrowed today or a certain property is bought through a loan, then amortizing a debt or loan means giving equal payments at regular intervals until the debt or loan is fully paid. Amortization is the process of paying a loan or a debt by means of providing equal regular payments considering the compound interest earned. Example 3. How much should one pay annually to amortize a loan worth 2.5 million pesos at an interest rate of 2% compounded annually for 10 years? How much is the total interest? So here, this is an amortization problem. So the involved is the present value. The present value is 2.5 million. Time is 10 years, R is equal to 2% or 0 0.02. The compounding period is yearly, so M is equal to 1. So in this case, we are going to solve for the regular payments, which is called the amortization. So here we are going to use this formula, R equals P over 1 minus 1 plus i over m raised to mt over i over m. For the solution, p is equal to 2.5 million times 10 years, r is 2% or 0 0.02, m is equal to 1, just substitute the values of p, t, r, and m. You'll arrive at 2.5 million all over 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.02 divided by 1 raised to negative 1 times 10 over 0 0.02 over 1. Computing this, you'll arrive at 278,316.32. This means that the yearly amortization is... 278,316 pesos and 32 centavos. To solve for the amount of interest, just substitute the obtained values, obtained value of P, substitute the values of RTM also. The formula to solve for the interest is I equals RTM minus P. I equals 278,316.32 times 1 times 10 minus 2.5 million. So now, we have I equals 2,783,163.2 minus 2.5 billion. The difference is 283,163.2. This means that the amount of interest is 283,163 pesos and 20 centavos. Okay. So in this time, solve the following problems. Number one, to prepare for their son's college studies, Mr. and Mrs. Magpantay put up a sinking fund at 3% interest rate compounded monthly. In four years, the fund must have 200,000 pesos. How much monthly payment must be put into the sinking fund? Number two, the Reyes family made a loan of 750,000 pesos to buy a new house. They decided to amortize the loan at 3% interest rate compounded quarterly. If the loan must be paid within five years, how much should the Reyes family pay quarterly? How much is the total interest? In these problems, 1 and 2, you see the difference of sinking fund and loan amortization. Sinking fund is used to prepare for the future. 
that's why it is an application of future values of annuities. For the number two problem, this is an example of an amortization problem. And as you can see, you are going to borrow a certain amount of money at present, and then you are going to pay regular payments, which is called amortization, to pay the loan that you made. That's why it is, this is an application of present value of annuities. If you notice, our formula to solve for R, R the two formulas to solve for R are based on the formula to solve for the future and present value of annuities, respectively. Number three. A sinking fund is established in order to prepare for the replacement of equipment in a business firm in Batangas. It is estimated that the total amount required for the sinking fund is 2 million pesos. If the owner of the firm wants to accumulate the needed amount after 10 years, how much must be the sinking fund payments if the interest rate is 2% compounded semi-annually? Number 4. You want to purchase a pre-owned car worth 200,000 pesos. The current owner of the car suggested that you pay him 70,000 pesos initially and then amortize the remaining 2% interest component monthly for the next two years. How much must you pay monthly? So for problem number four, I'm going to give you a clue. You must subtract first the down payment from the total work and the difference of 200,000 and 70,000 which is 130,000 that will be your present value or P. Number 5. You can borrow 50,000 from firm aim in exchange of 55,000 pesos that is to be paid by making equal monthly payment at 0% interest for 18 months. You can borrow the same amount from firm B in exchange of paying the amount that is amortized at 3% interest compounded monthly for the next one and a half year. Which lending firm will you choose to borrow in order to have lower monthly payments? So here, you are going to determine the monthly payments and then you are going to choose, of course, the, the lower monthly payment. It's more practical. Always remember class, do mathematics to learn mathematics. Practice, improve, and stay curious. Keep safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. See you next week for our next topic.